What is up, everybody? It's Jay Coffee Talk back again with another one for you guys. So we got some more hip hop news here. And I don't know if you guys have seen this. Get up in the comments. Let me know your guys thoughts on this. 50 Cent announced he's got uh, another TV project on the way. And, um, you know, Power Book 2 just dropped and all that or is on his way out. But um, in uh, the BMF series, we know Fifth tries to stay busy. He's got a lot of these different projects. But this one is going to be called A Moment in Time, The Massacre. And I guess it's going to have seasons, multiple seasons. Um, it's planned for and they're each going to highlight. They're calling it iconic moments in uh, hip hop history. Um, you know, where different sides collided or something along those lines. It basically sounds like it's going to go in and have seasons detailing different beefs in hip hop history, you know, where there was issues going on. And they're, they're saying and sometimes crimes happen behind the scenes is the way they're describing it. And season one is going to be about fifths beef with the game. And what uh, the caption that he shared with the little screenshot for this says, yeah, I had to do this one so everyone could see how Jimmy the Rat was moving. Legendary sucker shit. New show. Stars play. Get the app. So you see he takes that uh, shot at Jimmy Henchman. Fifth and Jimmy will never be cool, man. Like Fifth finds a way to bring Jimmy Henchman up all the time. And um, I can't blame him. You know, um, like we said, like I was saying, when they're, uh, you know, summarizing what the show is going to be about, where they said crimes happen behind the scenes. We know uh, 50 Cent's homie, a G-Unit affiliate, Lodi Mac, lost his life during this beef between 50 and game. You know, we all know the story. Lodi Mac allegedly slapped uh, Jimmy Henchman's son, Little Henchman. Some say it was Yayo and Lodi Mac just took, uh, you know, the the fall for it or whatever said he did it i don't know but Lodi mac was killed jimmy henchman was convicted of orchestrating the murder and it's just wild man like jimmy henchman in the end he told he cooperated with the feds but he was involved in a lot of gangster shit man he was doing a lot trafficking that cocaine uh putting hits out on people we know um he was tied to some stuff with Tupac. Like, Jimmy Henchman was doing a lot, man. But um, it's just kind of wild to think the game, a lot of people forget that Jimmy Henchman managed the game early on. It's like he went from Henchman. Uh, he had that dude Tato for a little while until 40 Glock socked him out. And then now we all know he's got Wack 100, who if you watch my channel, you guys know how I feel about Wack. But uh, game stays with some managers that inherit like he inherits a lot of beef because of the managers you know what i mean but uh, i don't know though you know tap in let's talk about it get up in them comments but if it wasn't for the jimmy henchman being games manager back then i feel like game at 50s beef would have ended a long time ago you know like we know how it is with rap beef a lot of the time these dudes end up cool later and everything but uh that you know, in, in Lodi Mac's death really, you know, brought the beef to another level, man. And looking back on that beef now, it's like back then I was such a big game fan. Right. But games done a lot of suspect and sucker type stuff. And the way he moves with whack 100, I don't really respect a lot of what they do. But looking back on all this, you know, back then, like I was a huge game fan. And I feel, as you see, the show has the massacre in the title. And if you remember, that was the album that 50 pushed, had to push back for, you know, to coincide with games release date. So they weren't going at each other when they were label mates. And I think Fifth never really, you know, was happy about that. As we know, he inherited the game on, on G-Unit. But looking back now, like I said, I really rocked with the game back then. But all in all... Who do you guys really think won that beef? One thing I'll say about 50 and G-Unit was we see a lot of ex-G-Unit artists are unhappy with their time and the way their career went and everything with 50 Cent. And, you know, like I always say, I feel like Fifth really should have went harder with Lloyd Banks. That's another story. The game 
did not know how to develop artists or anything like that. The Black Wall Street, he ended up changing the name a bunch of times. Money, gang, blood, money, whatever. He didn't do a damn thing for none of those artists. You know, I don't even know if he had them signed to real deals or anything like that. But he never pushed none of these guys. And we know early on he was working with Kendrick Lamar before Dre or any of them was. And you know what I mean? Like game had a lot of talent around him and he didn't do nothing with none of them. You know what I mean? Like it's suspect stuff by the game. But it's just kind of crazy to think that the game went from Jimmy Henchman to end up having WAC 100. But um, I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Do you think this will be a dope show? I'll definitely watch it. You know, I don't know if it's going to be like biopic series style or it's going to be like a more of a documentary style. I'm not sure. But um, who knows, man? We'll have to wait and see. But let's discuss this all in the comments, man. Uh, it's crazy, though, how they're cool now, too. One more thing I want to add before I close this video out. Wasn't it lame as hell the way... The game always would diss fifth and then want to be cool. This fifth want to be cool. And it's like now they're really actually cool. And, you know, for the longest time, the game couldn't stop talking about that neither. But I know game is probably loving the fact that this show is coming out. You know what I mean? So he can uh, reminisce on all this and everything. You know how game does. But let's discuss it in the comments. Let me know if you'll be watching. Let me know your thoughts on their issues. Jimmy the Rat, Jimmy Henchman, whatever you want to call him. Let's talk about all that. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Make sure to sub to the channel. Hit the notification bell. We cover much more than just hip-hop over here. We got sports, current events, all kinds of different topics. I'm out of here, you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.